Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy Dark of this gaming over here, and I'm going to teach you how to open up your NAT type and also how to basically eliminate lag for the better part on your PlayStation 4 and um, using the DMZ. If you know what that is, basically, it opens up all the ports for your um, PlayStation 4 to be able to use the Wi Fi to its best and accessible way so basically it helps you eliminate lag you ever heard of people tell you to um, open up your ports ports forwarding hell freaking PlayStation will tell you the same shit and also the gameplay you're seeing right now is mostly just so you see that I have zero to no lag and the ports have made my NAT type stay open so you see basically some proof I'm gonna explain to this the best ways possible but I do want to state right now that if you want me to go in a more in-depth version of this tutorial, show this video support and comment down. Can you make another video of this with uh, more details or step by step, whatever way you want to say it? Comment it down, and um, if I see like enough people don't understand what I'm saying it or the way that I'm saying it, I will basically make a guide where I'm going step by step instead of just showing gameplay alongside me showing some screenshots that might not help you if me talking in the screenshots don't help you enough basically I will make a more in-depth video if enough people need it but basically I'm just trying to help you guys out here's how we're gonna start it off I'm gonna tell you right now if you don't know how to log into your router go learn that first you should basically google your router's name you should google your how to like find your router's IP address your specific router the router that you're using to have the Wi-Fi in the first place it should be in a sticker around the bottom or whatever in your router if you have Xfinity for the most part it most likely will be something like to log in there it should be like 10.0.0.0.1 something like that but I'm gonna show you right now basically what this is all about you go and log into your router at advance Go to port forwarding first and there'll be somewhere where it says like to connect or pick a device out of the list and you see this right now because we're going to use what you are seeing right now and the port forwarding to put it on the DMZ information that you need of your PS4. Now that I've shown the screenshot, let me explain it this way. Think of, of the DMZ and the IP address of your PS4 as basically the IP address with a V4 host or whatever is your PlayStation 4 IP address that you will find if you go to settings, system, system information and you see the IP address which is like where the IP address shows the MAC address and all that shit well the IP address that you see on the PS4 Think of the DMZ4, or basically, no, the, the, I, the DMZ4, that is the IP address of your PS4. That's basically how it knows what device it has to, like, open up the ports to all of them. This is how, like, your router knows, oh, I'm opening up all access, all permission to this specific PS4. It's like, which device it knows to point to, basically, put it that way. That's why you put the information. Okay, so your PS4 IP address, which is like four boxes or ten numbers, whatever, like four digit numbers separated by dots, is the DMZ4. Now, the DMZ6 on the PS4 is somewhat complicated to find, but I found a little bit of a way to find this, of course. So, if you have Xfinity, you will also understand this a lot more better, but if you have a different router, I know this is going to look different to you, but go look back at the um, screenshots that I put around the video, and also they'll be in the end. But basically, put it this way. When you go to port forwarding, I know I didn't show it in the screenshot, but that's because I kind of just went on edit on the ports I already had before, because I used to use port forwarding, but it didn't do the job for me and now that I use the DMZ server or DMZ it is literally doing what the port forwarding could never do since most likely I did it wrong and it's not really easy to do the port forwarding it's so complicated compared to like the DMZ which basically does it all automatically for you if you know what information to plug in which the 
DMZ 46, which is basically your IP address of the PS4, the PS4 IP address V4, and the V6 IP address of the PS4. Now, the PS4 IP address, the V4, whatever, is very easy to find, like I said settings system system information and then it literally displays it to you in it says ip address now the one that's like longer that's like the v6 that's the one that's not fucking blah, 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 blah. that's the one that's not easy to find that's the one that i'm using a trick to basically show you how to find it because you gotta put your ip address for on the dmz and the IP address 6 I'm not sure how they're called or whatever like it, it, it has a complicated name so I'm just trying to make it easier to understand by calling it whatever I can but you want to put that information on your PS4 on the DMZ okay and the way that I found it to, to find it is you go to like where you go to port forwarding where you would normally put your information for the port forwarding once you pick it should be like down on the left an option that says oh what device do you want to put the specific port that you are trying to open to like an option of devices that your internet is logged into you should see the port I mean the IP address of your PS4 alongside some or whatever name it would have and that's how you know that oh this specific device that is shown out of the list is mine my ps4 because it has the same ip address next to it next to whatever that weird name is weird ass name that is the device that is known as my ps4 that i'm trying to open up all the ports dmz now once you pick that device and put apply whatever the option is called basically to confirm that you want to like put that it will put all that information but your um, port but you don't need that we just need you to basically save the information that it gives you for the servers like in the screenshots you're gonna see right now the IP servers whatever the hell 4 and 6 those things I have like highlighted in blue put those information and correspondingly put it on the DMZ and you'll be good and then restart your router after you save the DMZ settings and turn it on and then play and then have fun if you want me to do a better video that has more detail show a lot of support to this video but it's been your boy darkest gaming